talk to me a little bit about the assumptions that you've been making with regards to the global economy because um, you know you say that um, you know you're expecting things like uh, you're maintaining your full year guidance but there are a lot of uncertainties which make it difficult to formulate a mid-term outlook is this based on the idea that the global economy is going into recession or just going to go through a bumpy patch yeah good morning thank you for having me no, it's not based on a recession scenario. It's based on a lot of uncertainty that are waiting on the overall economy. Of course, a potential risk of uh, cooling down of demand in some region and some uh, uh, businesses, but also the fact that uh, uh, we know that we have been going through uh, mostly two years of uh, supply chain disruptions uh, when it's not about uh, raw material issues or energy prices uh, rising, it's about uh, difficulty to find uh, boats, containers, uh, scarcity of drivers uh, in some regions. Uh, so we consider that this instability and the volatility will probably uh, uh, continue over the, the, the coming uh, semester. That's why we, we put a little bit of prudence in the, our assessments of the of forward going markets. But what if the globe goes into a recession? Because at this stage, it looks as if a number of indicators are suggesting that possibility. You know, you've been able to, uh, to pass on price hikes, and you said in the first quarter that your customers were still willing to pay for those higher prices. But what about now? Are you able to preserve your margins and still pass on higher prices? For the time being, as you see in, uh, in our first half results, uh, we have been able to fully hedge uh, the uh, raw material and all the input costs, including transportation energy uh, prices through our price increase. And we have also the mixed enrichments uh, due to the car electrifications uh, that is providing us uh, better revenue, uh, thanks to, uh, let's say, larger uh, tires, uh, because electric vehicles are heavier than uh, IC vehicles. Um, so in that context, we consider for the time being that we have been able to pass all price increase necessary uh, to cover uh, the known uh, uh, inflators. Um, nevertheless, if uh, there was further inflation coming, we'll be obliged to, uh, to further increase our prices. And we have not observed any uh, trade down uh, from uh, customers or consumers uh, during, at least during this first half. Um, Eves, good morning to you. Um, the European Commission thinks it's got a plan to conserve energy and conserve demand. Are you concerned that how that's going to affect your business in the autumn and the winter if there are rolling um, limitations on the production you're able to put out there? Add that to all the other problems we're seeing at the moment. Yes, we are. Uh, we have concerns, but we we are also uh, taking some contingency uh, measures in order to make sure that uh, the factories uh, that we operate in Europe and that are still using uh, gas, for example, will have other, uh, let's say, alternative source of energies. Uh, and for example, we rent from boilers in order to be able to uh, substitute uh, uh, gas by uh, fuel if uh, necessary. Um, but uh, we, are, we are putting all contingency plans. Uh, we have been managing uh, uh, supply chain crisis for the past two years, and uh, our teams have gained in agility and uh, ability to cope with these different crises.